Hi, my name is Tracy. Thanks for watching. Today we're going to be cleaning out the chicken coop. Whenever your chicken coop starts to get a little stinky or visibly dirty uh, with poop, you really need to start cleaning it out because chickens really don't like living in poop just like you wouldn't like living in poop. So today I'm going to take you through all the steps that we do and uh, show you how to just make a nice bed for them. Stay tuned. The first thing that I like to do is come in here and push all the chickens out the door, make sure they're out, and just lock them outside basically so they can't get outside. Because as of right now, we're not really free ranging. We're, we're wanting to keep them in our garden until garden season. Next, we're going to hang up the feeders or anything else that's in our way. As you can see, this is pretty soiled material. Um, we use wood chips. We actually buy them from Orchlands. We're not uh, using hay or straw or anything like that right now because we really needed to use that for our blackberries. So we really don't mind just going to Orchlands and buying three bales. Uh, we used to just do a bale and a half in here, but we did notice once you started, uh, or we had to change it, uh, cha change it up a lot more often. So once we started doing three bales at a time and it gave it much more of a deeper bedding, it allowed uh, that manure and waste to, uh, you know, soak soak in those chips a lot more, and we were able to utilize the uh, bedding that we had purchased at Orchlands for a lot longer of a time. When we designed our coop, we had a pretty large roosting perch here, and it was kind of in the way. And my cousin said, "Well, hey, just don't really secure it down at the floor; just secure it at the top, and make sure that it's able to hinge." So we we did just that. And now we're able to hinge this thing right up out of the way, so we're going to put a ratchet strap on it, connect it to the ceiling, and then it lifts it up off the ground, and we can scoop out all this bedding super easy. Before we start cleaning our coop, we think safety first. We've only been given one set of lungs and we really need to protect them. Amongst all of this waste inside of this bedding is a lot of ammonia and it's very harmful to your lungs. Back whenever we started with chickens, the first time I ever cleaned the coop out, I did not use a respirator or even a dust mask and my lungs felt horrible for like a week. But this here is, is better than just your cheap average dust mask. These are just dust filters, uh, not a chemical respirator of any sorts, but it does seal to your face nicely, unlike the paper dust mask. If that's all you have, those are great to use too. Just some sort of filter so you're not getting all that dust and ammonia inside your lungs. Now that the hard work's done, we've got all the old bedding out of the way and dumped in the compost pile. We're going to back the truck up here and put the new wood chips in it. It 
chickens will be spending most of their time on the roost. So that means the most soiled place will be underneath of the roost. Be sure that's the thickest place that the bedding will be. Hey, thanks for watching our video on how we clean our chicken coop. If you've got any comments or questions, please leave them below. We really appreciate you watching the videos. I'm going to finish it up here, let the chickens in, and see if they approve. We'll see you on the next one.